enhance the building envelope. So we've talked about um, different uh, things, but one of the important things is the, the building envelope and what's within that, that envelope. Minimizing the energy consumption means that if we take and put the insulation around the building, we're consuming less. If we minimize the air infiltration and not allow the cold air to come in and take the dollars out with it at the other end. If we conserve water with the proper fixtures, and today there are multiple ways of saving uh, water. In fact, there's even a toilet fixture that has a button on it. You can press number one or you can press number two. And what it does is it allows a small amount of water or a larger amount of water still conserving energy and water. Uh, we can in, uh, increase and enhance the indoor air quality because once we do this, we're sealing up the building. The old building, we always had plenty of fresh air coming in, whether windows were open or not. The air was coming in through the cracks and crevices of the building around the windows and so forth, and it was taking some of the pollutants out along with our dollars. Once we seal up the building, we're retaining the pollutants. The pollutants come from cleaning solutions. They come from uh, kitchen and bathroom odors and so forth. So we have to incorporate a system uh, that exchanges air. At the same time, we're exchanging air, getting rid of the pollutants. We don't want to lose the heat with it. So there are uh, heat exchanges that allow the outdoor exhausted air to bring the heat to the incoming fresh air coming in. On an existing building, you can add PV on the roof. You can add solar thermal. You can do a bunch of other things that are minimal. But insulating the walls, putting the proper windows, doing the proper roof insulation, doing all of that requires that it be done from the very beginning.